so guys last time I made uh, uh, this thing right here so in case you did not watch the part one of this tutorial make sure to watch that if you don't want to miss this the, that, that part so in this part we will be uh, labeling or I will just labeling the different network address and IP addresses of these devices right here so to, to label an IP or anything just select note to label and then I'm gonna be setting the network address for this part oh sorry for that um, this part right there that is a network address so I'll be labeling a network address and let's just say network address that was just the name guys but this is the important thing 192.168 I'm gonna say 192.168.0.0 so network address guys must, must end with zero let's put it that in your mind and I'm gonna use the power of copy and pasting so select note in case you didn't select it that, that just select note or press the uh, N or the press N on your keyboard and then just know that and the network address for this part I mean and this part the network address of this part right here is um, let me just edit that thing so that is 1.0 so as you can see the pattern 0.0 .0, 1.0 and network address might, must be having the last number with 0 so the third network address is for this part right here so I'm gonna be having this with control V for the power of copying and pasting so let's just say 2.0 so as you can see it's pretty um, noticeable that 0.0, .0 1.0 and then 2.0 and that is basically the network address that is a first network address for this part and then the network address for this connection right here so um, let me uh, label the IP addresses of the fast Ethernet right here which is the interfaces of the fast Ethernet label that one that one for the serial port and then the another ser serial port and then the fast ethernet port so and also don't forget to label the um, IP address of the computer or the general computer so let me just label that thing and I will just say Oh, I just sh I should have labeled this fast Ethernet port. So I'll just label that thing 192.168.0.1. So in case you're asking the this kind of question, where did I prefer this um this uh, where did I prefer this um, IP address well it's from the network address and I incremented one uh, on the last uh, on the last number so let me just you know so uh, before I forget forgot let me show you uh, in case the I the serial port labels are not shown like this one this one is not on your um, Cisco pocket tracer it is not shown it's not shown and this one also this one also just go to the option tab right here click that and preferences so in the, your preferences just show show port labels so I already checked that and then we're done we're basically done oh uh, 
we're not done actually I'm just kidding you know so we have labeled the first port or the fast Ethernet port and then we have to label this port right here so I'm just gonna have to uh, select note and let's say 192.168.2.1 so the uh, in case you're wondering where did I prefer this IP address well 2.1 is 2. That it's from here it's from the network address of the connection so 2.0 and that must be 2.1 I'm sure you can barely notice that so they move that thing right there near at the zero port and then select node again and do the same process as we did so do that two so oh do that two so two that one that must be two that two and this thing fast ethernet must be one nine two dot one six eight oh one six eight dot one dot one so in case you're wondering again where did they prefer this well it's from this network address so it's from this network address and that may one that that must be one dot one so the last thing is to the IP address of the computer of course so one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot um, three so as you can see zero dot um you can use zero dot two so as you can see zero dot zero for the network address zero dot one zero dot two so here must be i know in one dot two so one dot two right here one nine two dot one six eight for the ip address one dot two so one dot one dot one one dot two that is the pattern guys so we are we have already labeled all the ip address for the serial ports and the computer and as you can see uh, that we have already network address and the computer so don't bother to put an uh, IP address in this port unless you will use this as your uh, you know gateway or something but um, let me just end this video right now and then please continue for the next part which is the part three of this tutorial because i'm getting i should have continued this tutorial uh, because it's for you so in case if you did not already subscribe to my channel well i should advertise my own channel right so i should say that be sure to subscribe to my channel to support me and also you can have benefits like i will be creating a uh, useful contents in the youtube community and for basically spef specifically for computing so i am a computer guy um i'm not a genius computer guy but i am a computer guy i'm a fan i'm a big fan with computers so i'm also having a programming tutorial but that's way off on this topic right here so please continue to the next video